Hello Team Beauties. So in our last video we talked about how to add your customers to your Avon address book, your new customers to your Avon address book, and how to add their orders to your Avon shopping cart, their own individual shopping carts. And so in this video now we're going to talk about completing the process and that's submitting the order to Avon. So let's go over to our browser and now we're back into our back office, our Avon 2.0 over at YourAvon.com and we have our four orders. We have our personal order and if you click the little um, triangle here it'll break it down, it'll collapse and you'll see all your items that you ordered. Now the majority of your items here or the items that are in this cart they're sales tools, samples and demos. So they're already discounted or at the actual price that Avon is going to charge you. You're not going to get any discount on your sales, your demos, or because um, the demos are already at the discounted price. And then if you order anything from the brochure, like the velvet, like let's say I ordered this fragrance, it shows $30 right here. That's the retail. So this is not showing you the discount at this time. And then, um, then you have your other customer order, your customer wants. So you're going to want to review that to make sure that you have everything. And then you can continue going through the um, going through your customers. And so now you've checked it, and you have everybody's order. Everybody, you've double checked the lists that they gave you, um, and so everything is here in your cart. Now you're going to want to go to the offers. And so the offers here are going to show you what you're eligible for. And here you're eligible for the, uh, the A box, which it's only $10 with any $40 campaign purchase. So because your order totals $171, you can order a couple of them. You can order, um, I think you can order like three of them and they're only ten dollars so it's it's ten dollars for the whole total of your order just because your customer because your order has the majority of the total you could offer your customers a special and say oh I you know I have a ten dollar um, for ten dollars you can purchase the the a box even though she didn't make the forty dollar purchase so <clears throat> Just keep that in mind that you do have that this is available and then if you forgot to order your brochures then you can you can click the brochure tab and you can add your brochures here you can also check the pricing which is right here and it'll um, it'll open up now the more brochures you purchase the less expensive they are so 10, 10 brochures one pack of 10 brochures they come to 64, 64 cents each, but if you order 100 brochures, then they come out to 25 cents each. And then if you, add, if you order more, then they become cheaper. So just keep that in mind. So um, you can check out your brochures, check out your offers, and then here are your orders. So now that you're ready to place your order, this is the retail price. This is your award sales price. And this is with your discounts. This is with your commission. So you're going to check out. And it's going to ask you, do you want to add brochures? And I'm going to say no because I already added them earlier when I was placing my order. And now we go to the checkout screen. And this, now keep in mind when you check out to Avon, Avon does not see the orders as four individual orders. All they see is one large order. And this shows it. It shows that you're ordering 26 items in each for your campaign 22 order. And so you can go ahead and take a look at all the info here. And then it breaks it down. You know, it tells you how much your shipping is. And you can see the shipping rates which shipping rates um, $7 for 150 orders and it, it shows it right here and then um, it shows your tax 
and your earnings, this is what the discount is. So this is your discount. Now remember, when you when you deliver your order to your customers, your customers are going to give you the retail value. Avon is charging you the discounted price. So you're going to keep the difference of that price. And then you'll go ahead and submit order. Now I'm not going to click the submit order button because I don't want Avon to charge me. But just so you know, when you click that submit order button, then Avon is going to show you how much you owe for that order. Now if you're a new representative, Avon may have issued you credit, like a credit line, which you can um, think of it like a credit card. They may have issued you like a hundred dollar credit. So if your order is hundred and thirty dollars after tax, after shipping, and after the discount has been applied, then they're going to apply that hundred dollar credit so you'll only owe $30 or $37. And then your next campaign, before you place your next campaign order, you'll be required to pay that $100. So they give you a little buffer um, so that you can deliver your orders and get paid and then you have the money to pay. Now, if you, when you signed up for Avon and Avon didn't issue you a credit and you don't have credit, then you will be required to either place a deposit, a portion of the order, or you'll need to pay the whole, whole order. Now keep in mind that you must pay the order before Avon is going to deliver it to you. If you don't make that payment when you submit your order, then your order is going to be on hold. And if you don't pay it within a couple of days, Avon will cancel the order. So just so you know, that if you have a credit, um, depending on how much credit you have, you can pay a portion of your order and then you'll pay the difference before you place your second order. And um, if you don't have credit, then you'll need to make that payment before Avon delivers you that order. Now, um, another thing to keep in mind is that if um, you do have credit issued to you, even if you don't place an order for the next campaign, you're still required to make your payment because Avon will um, Avon will start charging you a late fee after your um, past due one campaign. So keep that in mind. You don't want to get um, late on your account and. Um, once you submit that order, you take care of your bill and everything should be good and your order will be um, shipped to you within one to four days. Okay, thanks for watching and if you have questions about placing your order, just let me know and we can go over the process again. But um, it's pretty straightforward. As long as you, um, you'll get used to it and it'll start becoming second nature as you continue placing your customer orders. Okay, bye-bye.